What's up guys? It's Romeo Lacoste. 20 weird random facts about me that you might or might not know, but probably don't. Number one, everyone's got a freaky side. Holy shit. All right, I saw the news popping up on my Twitter about this guy being a fucking creep. Turns out he's this really famous tattoo artist that has tattooed, you know, celebrities, YouTubers. He's got his own YouTube channel with over a million subs. Congrats on the plaque. I saw the DMs that he sent, apparently 14, 15 year olds. There's a lot of stuff coming out, but the main tweet I saw pop out was uh, from a user named Yellow Chair. If you're already pretty familiar with the context, you can skip over this. I want to talk about his interview with Keemstar that he had because that is what got my attention, and oh, is it a tough listen. I haven't written shit down for this video. I, I just wanted to go through this with you guys because this almost writes itself. There was fangirls that had a group chat for Romeo. He caught wind of it. They said he seemed a bit off in the way he was talking to them since they were underage. And there's all types of screen recordings here of him sending obviously provocative pictures and saying very provocative things to these underage girls. So I'll give you a few highlights. Love that. Love my balls massaged and sucked on. Love my asshole licked. My fave is deep throw. Junk girls always deep throw further. <laughs> you can even chase my cum down with another shot. Or I'm freaky. I can even come in your shot and let you drink both together. I do freaky stuff. <laughs> Take another shot, then go for round two. By the time you leave, you'll have a tummy full of cum and alcohol. <laughs> I bet you get super slutty when you're drunk. 16, my favorite drink in the whole entire world is cum and alcohol. I'm like the final stage on a video game. <laughs> I guess the real test will be with me. There's big, then there's Romeo big. I make most guys in porn look small. <laughs> I've only ever had one girl deep throat me like nothing, and two that got all the way down but struggled. Everyone else could barely get past halfway. Romeo was in his late 20s when he sent these messages, and they were like in middle school, maybe freshmen. There's so much more stuff out there, but that's not what I want to talk about. I want to listen to this interview with you guys. I am going to listen to all of it right now and give you my snap reactions and explain how there is so much to catch a predator rhetoric in this fucking interview. By the way, I'm only 20 minutes in. It's a 36 minute interview. I only made it 20 minutes in and then decided I wanted to record this video. So the last 16 minutes are gonna be a surprise. Let's start it. Hello? Hey, what's up? First, first I wanna say, dude, I was just watching your video. You're such an asshole, bro. All right, Romeo. We're going to have to leave it there. Romler Nation, now over 4 million. If you guys want an apology interview to go over well, make sure to fucking shit on the interviewer as soon as you hop on. Imagine if Logan Paul's suicide apology started like this. First of all, I just want to say, uh, you guys are fucking dicks. But I did have a lapse in judgment. You're such an asshole, bro. Why? I just feel like you should, like, you're supposed to be, like, sort of like a neutral kind of a guy who, like, you're supposed to be reporting facts, not like, not like fiction, you know? Not like opinions and not like stuff that's, that's not proven yet, you know? Like, you're, you're supposed to be a news channel where people go to to, like, find out, like, cold hard facts. <laughs> cold hard facts. Is that what you're looking at Keemstar for? And that's not even, not, not even any disrespect to Keemstar. As a YouTube news channel, he reports Allegations, my dude. These are allegations. And obviously when the evidence is so overwhelming, the story is gonna be phrased in a certain way. Now is your chance to respond to those allegations and you have a shitty start. I do appreciate you giving me credit for being um, such a boss ass tattoo artist and every, you know, tattooing everyone and being involved in the circle. So that's kind of cool. Are you okay, Romeo? I'm not even two minutes into the interview and you have given me almost every reason to dislike you. You insulted the interviewer. You have a horseshit understanding of what is YouTube news. And then you cap that off with the flex. Listen, I get people are nervous. I get that's the thing. That's fine. I, I give you a pretty good benefit of the doubt, but you are walking off the ledge so soon in this interview. We have 34 minutes to go. So Keemstar begins this interview right away, just saying, there are allegations against you. Are you guilty? Romeo says, yes. Yes and no. He says people are making this out to be worse than it actually is. He talks about the use of Photoshop, people fabricating lies. Starts going into a bit of a tangent and then Keemstar's like, I, uh, I well, were you sexting wanna... with 14 and 15 year old girls? Romo then says his famous catchphrase. Well, here's the thing, so. And then starts talking about Twitter, that it's really easy for people to insult him over the internet. That's why he deleted his Twitter. And he's talking very slowly and calmly about all of this, which would be fine, but you're not addressing the question. To the point where basically the audience is Keemstar, because Keemstar is telling him to hurry the fuck up and get to the point. I really like Keemstar during this interview because this isn't some Shane Dawson documentary. Keemstar is not like that. Keemstar is impatient and also he will call you out on your bullshit. So thankfully Keem reels it back and just says, did you send 
these messages. I mean, first of all, did you send these messages to these girls, 14 and 15? Were you sexting with them? Um, so here's, here's, here's one of the big loopholes is... And I don't even really think loophole is an appropriate term for this. Loophole. An ambiguity or an... Yeah, I don't think that word works here. I've been accused of shit like this before. You know, there's like no proof that any of these girls were that age. There's a part where you say, um, you know, are you willing to do it before uh, yes. you turn 18? Yes. So let me address that. So that I'm not gonna deny that was real. But here's here's the twit. Here's here's the big loop about it. Here's the big sort of like here's the scoop fabrication, smoke and mirrors or whatever. That you're throwing out a lot of words. Zay, you aren't really defending. Here's the loophole. Here's the loop with that fabrication, smoke and mirrors. But you're not really empowering those words with evidence. You're just saying them. So, you know, I'm over here just minding my own business. You know, girls are throwing themselves at me. Trying to sum up what the hell he just said. He's starting to say, you know what? I, I was new to social media at the time. So he was new to Twitter and he didn't know there was like spam accounts. This was all very new to him and he was in a very different mindset at that time in his life this happened in 2016 this was like three years ago i was in a completely different time of my life so romeo is 30 years old three years back he was in an entirely different mindset at 27. anyway then he tells us that you know what i'm really 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 against pedophiles i am so against you know people who are creepy and, and pedophiles and stuff like that. Like, Which is, you know, a, a step in the right direction. That's a good, that's good. It's probably the only good thing you've said so far. And also pretty fucking common sense for everybody in the world. Fan group. That they I would never, ever, 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 like I almost felt like someone telling me that they were almost 18 was like the hard limit, you know? And you selected like two of them from what I understand to talk more in depth about some kinky stuff. Um. Here's the thing, though, is that like... I, I just want to say this. When you say, here's the thing, that sounds like, yes, that's true, but here's the thing. If you actually look online, a lot of people are confirming this. A lot of the stuff is Photoshop. Like, yes, some of it is true, but they're rearranging the conversation to make it look like I was sort of like reaching out to these underage girls, which in, in actuality, these girls came on to me first. Yeah, they're fangirls. They're, they're yeah. young what the fuck is wrong with you? These girls came on to me first. Yeah, my job here is done. The man is innocent. Are you suggesting that there was stuff added? Because I don't, I don't really think that's the case. No, I'm not saying there were things added. Like, so I'm, you know, everything we read on the Drumler before was correct. It okay, just well, wasn't in order is what you're saying because some I'm, stuff has been taken out. I'm a human being and... You know, every everyone's got like a sexual side, you know, like I'm not ashamed for some of the sexual things that I'm into and the things that I said in the videos, like, I mean, in the in the in the comments. Right. It's all good and fun for people to make fun of and say, oh, you know, you might be part gay and this and that. And I got all these different gay celebrities hitting me up or whatever now. But who is talking about you being gay? That's not the point of this interview, dog. Who gives a shit you like your ass licked? I don't. I don't think anybody else should either. It doesn't matter to anybody else. People are just making these memes because it's such a big story. But the main part of the story is the fucking pedophilia allegations. Keemstar is talking to you about DMing underage girls. Keemstar is not talking to you about how you like your asshole tickled. Yet during this interview, you're like, you know what? We all have a sexual side. I'm not ashamed. I thought you were dead ass gonna start talking about pedophilia after that, but no, you start talking about your ass. I have my butt tattooed. I absolutely loved it. Like, it's almost turned like into kind of more of a joke, but. This interview is burning alive right now and we're not even 10 minutes in. And I don't wanna just like try to defend myself, but I almost feel like I was sort of taken advantage of in a sense because Keemstar is probably sitting there thinking, holy shit, this is gold. Who let you get a mic? Do you have a publicist, my dude? Do you have a lawyer? You should have done like a little rehearsal, maybe a little practice, been like, hey, this is my script, or even just challenged you right there on the spot. Hey, are you guilty? Well, here's the thing. Yeah, you probably shouldn't go on drop alert. Let's type you out a nice little cute apology statement. We'll reactivate your Twitter, post it on there, go to the Winchester and wait for all this to blow over. You're in the wrong. I mean, you're the adult. You're the, you're the adult, man. You're right. You're absolutely right. But I also feel like 
we okay you're absolutely right like I, all I want to say to defend myself is this. You kind of know me a little bit. The yeah. face guys knows me. And I'm, I'm not just trying to throw people under the bus. I am very well respected in this community. <laughs> oh, my God. Romeo, 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 Romeo. You can't go from starting to play victim saying, hey, these middle schoolers took advantage of me. They were just sh jumping to my DMs. What was I supposed to do? Not respond? Not talk to them the way I talk to them? Psh not me, not Romeo Lacoste. Teamstar then called you out and said, hey, you're a fucking adult. It is on you what happens in that conversation. And you say, yeah, no, you're right. You're totally right. You're very, very right. I do want to say this though. I'm very well respected in my community. The Face Clan likes me. Hey, you've met me. I'm a nice guy, right? And I've tatted up Kodak Black. I've tattooed every YouTuber, Kodak Black. And I've had my tattoo shop for like four years. No one's ever complained. No girls have ever made any complaints to me in my tattoo shop. Your career and your tattoo expertise have nothing to do with this. Have you never seen like serial killer documentaries or even read up on child predators? They're not just overtly terrible people. They usually blend in pretty well with society. And the people around them will usually have some nice stuff to say about them. But that does not overshadow what you do in private, especially when it's really fucked up and also most likely illegal. Stuff from 2016 is surfacing now, like, how many of you guys were different three years ago? Not saying that like obviously not everyone was a night and day difference, but right. I know for me three years ago, I was in a completely different mind state, you know? Holy shit, Romeo. Yes, three years ago, I was a different guy. What was it three years ago? It was uh, 2016, right? I was 21 and if I remember correctly, I, I think, I think that I, that I had a pretty solid understanding of not telling underage girls to eat my ass. I think, I could be wrong. In all seriousness, I, I get I get the argument. You know, this is, this is old. Three years ago, I had this conversation. Here's the big issue with that, Romeo. You have given us no proof, no evidence that you have changed. We don't know if you're still doing shit like this. We don't know how long you were doing shit like that. You are not persuading me in any way to believe that you are still not this person from three years ago. And even then, you were 27. You were a grown ass man. It was wrong back then. And yes, it sucks that it's popping up now, but it's still wrong. You should still be held accountable for it. This isn't some tweet you sent out with the N word. This is you sexting minors. This defense can work if you had told us, you know what, three years ago, yes, I did have this fucked up mindset. Yes, I did have these conversations with these minors. Having this amount of fame and women reaching out to me, I had these urges that I knew were not okay. Since then, I've worked on myself, I've gone to therapy. Admit you were fucking wrong, and then say, you know what, since then I've tried to better myself. I'm trying to better myself. So Keemstar brings up that one of his exes came out and said that she dated him when she was 14. And at the time, Romeo was 19. And then he says this. I don't believe that she was 14 at all. Um, I oh, know actually, I take that back. I remember her saying that she may have been 15. I think she might have been late 15, possibly. It, this is this is me being extreme. She may have been late 15. I remember her being more like 17. That's a pretty big gap, Romeo. Um, she said you peed I, on her. Keemstar just goes balls out and says, you know what she said that you peed on her. Cause you're saying, yeah, you know what? I moved into her parents' house. Don't worry. They were totally cool with it. We slept in completely separate beds, which doesn't mean shit. Have you seen abducted in plain sight on Netflix? Doesn't mean shit. If the parents are cool with it. Um, she said you I, peed on her. I don't remember that. And, and it, and I, it traumatized her like in a it, really, it traumatized her. That's what like, she said. Oh my God. Romeo, you are such a fucking liar. And I can't believe shit you are saying in this interview. Um, she said you I, peed on her. I don't remember that. And I, it traumatized her. It traumatized her. Come on. You was just a little tinkle. Let me say this because I don't feel like I'm getting a chance to defend myself. As far You've had 13 minutes to defend yourself. You're just not doing a good job. Before I dated her, she had dated guys that were older than me. There was a much larger age difference from guys that were older than me. She had told me she had done many sexual things with those people older than me. That doesn't matter. Romeo, it doesn't. I'm just saying, I, I did my best to treat her, you know, with respect. And I was really, I really, really liked her. I treated her like a princess. I moved him. <laughs> my hot little slave princess. I mean, she said you peed on her. 
Okay, well, where's the proof? Aha! Got you. She actually kept a little urine sample of yours in a cup all these years. Busted. <sighs> Look, Kim. I... All I can say is that I'm absolutely... You know, if, if I've done... If, if I've made anyone feel uncomfortable, if anyone feels like they've been taken advantage of, I personally feel like I thought I did my best, okay? I you did your best at what? If you're talking about this interview, nope. If you're talking about the interactions with those girls, nope. And it doesn't matter if they feel or don't feel like they were taken advantage of, you should have not been doing that regardless. Just take the L here, because this is... This is becoming so, so much worse for you. I literally have not been on my phone DMing people for three fucking years. I understand what you said, what you're saying. It is gross. It is fucked up. I mean, if people want to do that between consensual people, shit, everyone's got a freaky side. You know what yeah, I mean? Like a, a, adults are fine, but I mean, these are these are kids. Like no, I have a niece who's 14 years old. If some 28 year old started like sending her the messages that you sent to this 14 and 15 year old girl, yeah, I'd lose my mind. You're right, dude. I'm the same way with you. I have, I have, listen to me. I have four, four girls, bro. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I think about that shit all the fucking time. But what do you mean you have four girls? I have four sisters. Like, I have sisters and- They're, they're not even your kids? When you say you have four girls, we all automatically think you have four daughters. Four sisters? That's the most you could fucking pull out as an excuse? You can ask any customer who's ever came into my shop for the last four years. I treat them all with the utmost respect. The situation is not portraying the whole story. He keeps going in circles, right? With everything. He keeps saying, I'm a good person. What's out there is, is manipulating things. Making it seem like I'm worse than I really am. He's explained why he thinks it's making it seem worse than he really is. And he lost that point already. He defended that point and he completely lost it to Keemstar and the whole fucking audience. But he keeps saying it. And he also keeps reiterating, hey, I'm a good guy. Hey, I'm against pedophiles. Hey, I would never disrespect my sisters. Hey, I'm polite to my customers. Now I hate to burst your bubble, Romeo, but that's kind of shit that people just do. You don't deserve a plaque for not disrespecting your sisters. See that? See that plaque in the back? I didn't get that plaque because I changed my baby's diapers. I got that plaque because I went above and beyond for something. Do you get how, how stuff like that works now? Do you want I, to make an apology to the yeah, to these girls? Listen, listen to me, like I I I consider myself to be a good person. I really do. I try my very, very, very hardest to always do the right thing. I'm not perfect, man. I'm not perfect. And I sure as hell wasn't perfect in 2016 when it, when this whole shit was new to me. No, it's not an excuse, okay? Look, I'm gonna be honest, man. Like, I'm not trying to just make excuses, but you already know this. Like, these girls always look older than they really are. Now you're talking about 15 year olds looking like they're 18 year old. Like, you've already thrown 20 minutes of excuses out. You have nothing to change our minds. You got no one in your corner. Fucking own up to it. Jesus. But that's why I feel like, honestly, like, I am apologetic and I will give I will give a really good apology, but this is why I feel I will give a really good apology, just not on this interview that millions are gonna see. But this is why I feel like somewhat of a victim and somewhat like they trap like these kids come on here trying to trap celebrities. So they told you seventeen. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. You still told a seventeen year old that you know, all this crazy shit. Okay. Okay. Um <laughs> look. I, I've, I've always mean well, always, okay? I've always mean well. From the very beginning of my heart, from everyone that you know, you and I know personally, like, I've always been a good guy. It's just that my heart is so big. <laughs> I wish I didn't have that big of a heart. I don't want to leave these 15-year-olds' messages on red because my heart is so big. 30 years! I gave y'all 30 years of this shit. 30 years of my tattoos. This is how y'all repay me? For fuck's sake. My girlfriend is fucking devastated. She is literally on the verge of leaving me if she hasn't already. Deal I got a YouTube comment on um, on my last YouTube video about you. She followed you in like early 2018 on Instagram when you only followed 60 other people. One of those accounts was the DDLG, a DDLG account. What is DDLG? Okay, so if I like to follow uh, a sexual account on Instagram and like to see sexual art, like 
how, how is that? How am I being crucified for that? If I'm into some freaky shit, I should be able to be in, in some freaky shit. Are you I into kids though? Because it seems no, 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 that no. way. I'm not in a kid. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not, I'm not in a kid. My girl right now does not look like a fucking kid. I'm not positive offhand what DDLG stands for, but it's basically like role playing. The guy is the father and the girl is the daughter. I get how bringing up this DDLG thing is kind of another red flag, but speaking as someone who tries to understand other fetishes that are legal, I believe this type of fetish can go on obviously consensually and legal. Yes, it's weird, but if there's no laws being broken and it's two consenting adults, who am I to try and stop that? And I think that's why this shouldn't have been brought up because now you gave something to Romeo that he can actually defend. Another YouTuber reached out to me and said that you started dating your current girlfriend when she was underage. Is that true? No. She was 18 years old. Romeo's story is going all over the fucking place right now. I, like I said, I haven't listened to this part. He has a girlfriend who's 22 and Keemstar has accused him that he started dating her when she was under 18, but he's saying no, he started dating her when she was 18, which considering that's four years back, that would mean that he DM these girls these underage girls through that time period. Now he's saying no, the dots are not connecting on this one, my dude. I don't want to put this girl on blast because honestly, like I understand this girl. I'm not sure what the motive is for these people, but this girl was sending me sexual shit telling me she would go to parties, hook up with people, she's had boyfriends. This is the same defense you used with your old ex where you said, yeah, she's fucking with other dudes. Like I'm fucking repeating myself at this point. No, I don't think my career is over. I mean, like, again, I just want to, you know, finish this interview. I just, I feel like the full story isn't out and it's making me out look worse than what this it is. This was your job here was to give us that full story so we can hear you defend yourself. So stop making that bullshit excuse that the full story isn't out. You just gave us the full story and the full story is you're fucking guilty. Case closed. I don't know if he's in the suing business, but I've had someone else try to sue me. So I think you're guilty. That's my opinion. No proof, but a very strong opinion. I just want to make an apology and just apologize not only to my friends and my family who have deeply hurt and also the girls who are involved in this social media is a very like crazy 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 world dangerous world things are easy to get mixed up and it's easy for you know very dangerous be... very dangerous it's really dangerous man social media is so fucking dangerous like... that's actually a good point that he brings up social media is very dangerous because you know there's a lot of famous people disguising themselves as you know good people among society but then when you talk to them it turns out they're child predators Shit sucks. About the Twitter, uh, I have a bunch of people getting in contact with me saying that they have damaging uh, DM conversations with you um, that are on Twitter that they can't get to because your account's deactivated. Are you ever going to make it active again? It doesn't matter what I get people. People will Photoshop and twist things around. Stop saying Photoshop. I know I've made this point. Stop saying Photoshop. Just cutting out certain portions of the conversation is not Photoshop. It's not fabricating lies. Yeah, somewhat giving one side of the story. You've now given your other side. Now I, I could care less what else you show me in that conversation. No, it's not okay. photoshopped. It's not fabricated. No. Just okay, like, yeah, I said some sexual stuff. I mean, I didn't know, you know, her age, whatever, but I don't want to make excuses and make myself look bad. But, you know, sometimes when you're not that good looking and you're not that cool and you don't have that many, you know, followers and you, you're not really popping for anything, like people give you attention, you know, and you just like, it's nice to be getting attention from people. And I'm not saying that have, like- Have you ever watched How to Catch a Predator? I I'm sorry, I don't mean to skip over anything. Did he just say, you know what? When you're not that good looking and you don't have a lot of followers and then, you know, girls DM you and give you attention, it's hard to resist temptation. So are you guilty or are you not fucking guilty, Romeo? This is what I have to say, man. Stuff like this happens to people all the time. I mean, look at Tyga and Kylie whenever, you know, Kylie was underage. They all knew that she was, that he was fucking her. Like, there's so many people, this, this shit goes on all the time. I'm not, obviously, not making any kind of excuses, but you know me, you know more than me. I'm sure you could name him a lot more than I can. Dog, what are you doing? This does not help your argument. You're saying, yeah, you know what? There's other child predators out there. So what's the big deal when I do it? Come on, join the club. From my defense, my point of view, I thought that they were almost 18 years old or 18. Um, I know Why it's would not you think they're 18 if you're saying, do you want to wait until you're 18? I just really want to get this message out and let people know the truth about everything. And I, I really hope that like people can kind of, you know, I don't want to say people feel sorry for me, but I definitely want people to kind of, 
you know, sympathize with the situation. Just look at things from all angles. I don't want you guys to feel sympathy for me, but I do want you guys to feel sympathy for me. These girls took advantage of me. How dare they bring their attractive teenage selves into my DMs. Don't they know I have no restraint? I don't know how to hog tie. And that's the interview. That was hands down the worst apology interview I've ever heard in my life. But as always on this show, it's not about my opinion, it's about what you guys think. So let me know in those comments what you guys think. Is he guilty or is he fucking guilty? <laughs> now people are talking about Shane Dawson fucking his cat. It's only Sunday. It's the Lord's Day. Chick-fil-A is closed. Can you guys fucking slow things down? I guess I can do an outro. Uh, just in case you didn't know, this is my second channel. My main channel has great content on it. I like jumping over to my second channel, uh, you know, here and there. And I want to do it more often because there's stories like this where I want to cover them. But I don't think it's necessarily a main channel video. I just kind of want to jump into it blind. No scripting, no nothing. More off the cuff. But hopefully still informative and entertaining. So yeah, leave a like. Uh, subscribe. Also subscribe to the main channel if you haven't, you know, took a look at it. And I don't know what else to say except this is why I have not gotten a tattoo. Next level.